I'm Seb Hawkins, eSports Executive at Williams eSports. My name's Ben Miles and I'm the Managing Director at Shield Blast. Yeah, so I'm on an entry level PC at the moment, sending my eyes crazy just because it's not being able to put the same performance out as our Chill Blast PCs. As I'm turning into corners, like the car isn't turning because we're getting input lags. We're getting screen tearing, so the screen is all jittery. And it's not matching the specs of the monitors that we use as well. So you're, you're finding yourself fighting things that you shouldn't need to fight, basically. So in this one, we've got the fastest um, CPU for gaming, uh, which we've also got uh, running on a water cooler. So 20, 30 degrees lower than it would be on a conventional cooler. So it's constantly boosting to its maximum possible performance. It helps to maintain very smooth frame rates. This is way better straight away. It's so much smoother. I feel like I've got control. It's a lot more comfortable. Just literally down to the frames per second being high enough to match the refresh rate of the monitors. Because they're matching, there's no screen tearing or anything distracting any artifacts or anything. It's just straight up. Uh, matching exactly what the display is trying to put out. Sim racing is you need to be consistent, you need to be hitting every single breaking point, you need to be hitting every single apex, and if we're having a screen freeze mid-corner, a tenth later getting on the power is, you know, it can be the difference between first and last. You're not pushing the PC beyond its limit, you're not trying to do things with the PC that make the PC overheat, um, you're just using the PC as it's been built specifically for these uh, these games and it's perfectly compatible. That setup there just was starting to trigger my eye and I could feel straight away that it was stressing my eyes. I'm not like uncomfortable uh, sort of health wise, you know what I mean with it, so it's, it's less straining and I could sit here and do this for three, four hours happily now without feeling really uh, any issues. We need to make sure that our drivers are in a consistent setup. One of the key parts of eSports itself is making sure things are perfect every time you use them. They need to be consistent, we need to be working with the same kit. We're going to consistently see the barriers between gaming and simulation and reality uh, be broken down uh, as the performance of the machines enables ever more realistic experiences and graphics. <laughs>